Remember that Rome was not destroyed by the complacency of outside embedders. It was destroyed by the complacency of the Romans. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Kashim Shetima, all other eminent personalities from far and near, too numerous to mention, I stand on the existing protocol. Right Honorable Ibrahim Zanna is my name. I'm a one-time speaker of the Boron State Children's Parliament and an incumbent deputy speaker of the Nigeria National Children's Parliament. Your Excellency, sir, for the past three days, it has really been a very reawakening experience. There is a lot of networking has been done among these children. Caldef Africa has brought children from different parts of the country. They have fostered that sense of brotherhood and sisterhood. And I believe they have learned a lot because there is a lot of inspiring people that spoke at the conference and they have taught these children a lot. We believe that these brilliant students here, they are not just leaders of tomorrow, they are leaders of today. And I always encourage these children to stand up and speak on behalf of the voiceless. Because if we don't speak up for them, then there will be no one to speak for them. Your Excellency, I have made a presentation uh, at the conference two days ago. And these children have really been motivated on what I have said to them. And they actually met me personally. And they told me that they are willing to lend their voice in support for the children of Nigeria. And Your Excellency, you are really a mentor and an inspiration to all of these children. Because... So this video caught my attention on social media and then I've tried to ignore it. I've seen it a couple of other places, but I've, I've listened to this video, watched it a couple of times, and I'm quite impressed, right? And then I just remember one of the uh, leadership trainings I had a couple of years ago where we agreed that there are two types of leaders. There are born leaders and there are trained leaders. I don't know if the knot has got the similitude of uh, of saying that they, they have born leaders, but you cannot take away the fact that they train um, people to be leaders. You know? um, I'm talking about North and Nigeria. No, no matter the hate or the disconnect or maybe the disparaging outlook we put on the North um, of Nigeria, but we cannot take away the fact that these guys know what it takes to build um, um, leadership that will take over the society, the community, and even the nation. And that's why in every sphere in this country, there are northerners infiltrating it. Uh, infiltration is not to say negatively, I'm going to say it our deliberately. And we have a challenge with the quota system, we have our issues with character, federal character, we have our issues with how these guys. But you cannot take away the fact that these guys have the way of allowing their brothers and sisters to penetrate certain systems for the good of the community. If you if you if you remember, um, if you you a student of history. In the understand that our political journey before um, the indirect rule was introduced by our colonial masters, it was very, very comfortable for them in the north to introduce that. And that's why the north seemingly rejected um, the bid for us to declare self independence because they were enjoying the indirect rule because they had already systems put in place, they had an organized system uh, put in place. And somehow, when the colonial masters came, it was difficult for them to penetrate and again because of religion and their culture. And don't take away the fact that the communal understanding that they already had it was difficult for said for the penetration of colonial masters into the streets and the household. So they would rather um, stuck with using the organized leadership, organized system to penetrate it, that order. And all that benefited them, so to speak. And then they were benefiting, the leaders were benefiting, the leaders spoke to the people. And so it was easy to transfer or communicate or disseminate information and even sometimes to even deliver uh, on a promise or on a project um, like that. And to today, the North see practice that system. And it's, you see, young, young chaps like this having the audacity. I'm not saying that um, Southern, Western, or Eastern um, chaps are not smart, but you see, this is being built in a couple of years' time. This guy would would be somehow very um, in some very decent offices and organization, doing well, and 
no decent time is in one office or the other before you know it's contesting to be governor or senator or become president. That is an author and that's something you cannot take away from the North. Respectfully, you cannot take that away from the North. They have a way of building and grooming leaders. And that's what I think those of us in the South need to start to look at. It's not challenge, it's not competition, it's not, uh, this is not a fight. It's just saying we need to do better. We need to begin to look at how where we build people, groom people, develop our, our generation to taking up leadership. And then the, a lot of us shy away from politics unnecessarily, I'm telling you. Unnecessarily. And then <laughs> Aristotle say that all of us are political animals in some way. If we, if we indeed, and okay, uh, another wise man um, of blessed memory did say that uh, the disadvantage of not participating in the political pro process is, is allowing the inferiors to govern. And that's what the North and North consistently do. They get involved in politics, get involved in the system, and then they want to dictate, control, sometimes manipulate. It may not be to your favor, but it benefits them. Quite impressed about what this chap um, um, said. I don't know. I take away the honor and respect for Kazim Shetima, but then again, I'm just being political here yeah, because if you go back and Look at all the views together and put them together. You may he may not be far from the truth because he may have um, put in a couple of things for children and young adults in his community or in the state. So, of course, because of our political differences, is I'm not endorsing that. But the chap said what he said. I hope we get better and begin to understand that we've got a huge, huge role to play in all this. Let's let's see what we can do better, and it's gonna be fine. Your Excellency. The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Kashim Shetima, all other eminent personalities from far and near, too numerous to mention, I stand on the existing protocol. Right Honorable Ibrahim Zanosunoma is my name. I'm a one time speaker of the Boron State Children's Parliament and an incumbent deputy speaker of the Nigeria National Children's Parliament. Your Excellency, sir, for the past three days, it has really been a very reawakening experience. There is a lot of networking has been done among these children. Caldef Africa has brought children from different parts of the country. They have fostered that sense of brotherhood and sisterhood. And I believe they have learned a lot because there's a lot of inspiring people that spoke at the conference and they have taught these children a lot. We believe that these brilliant students here they are not just leaders of tomorrow, they are leaders of today. And I always encourage these children to stand up and speak on behalf of the voiceless. Because if we don't speak up for them, then there will be no one to speak for them. Your Excellency, I have made a presentation uh, at the conference two days ago. And these children have really been motivated on what I have said to them and they actually met me personally and they told me that they are willing to lend their voice in support for the children of Nigeria and your excellency you are really a mentor and an inspiration to all of these children because <clears throat> so to say you are passionate about the children of Nigeria is an understatement everybody here is a living witness of the work you are doing to protect the rights of these children in Nigeria. And we are calling you to continue doing your good work because we cannot be complacent. Remember that Rome was not destroyed by the complacency of outside embedders. It was destroyed by the complacency of the Romans. Um, thank you very much, Your Excellency, for finding time to be here, and I really hope you still inspire and motivate these children in your remark. Thank you very much.